Hello, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can add language packs to Windows 10 via PowerShell. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. Okay, so Microsoft have made the process quite complicated, um, but just to let you know, if you've got a Windows 10 machine that is version previous to 1809, um, they call it language packs and they're .cab files that you need. If you have Windows 10 version 1809 or newer, they've renamed uh, the packs to local experience packs and they're actually APX files. And the process is going to be different uh, depending on which uh, version of Windows you have. So the first thing you need to do is download the pack. So if you go to this URL here, I'll put it in the description so you can copy and paste it. You'll actually need um, a login and password, but you need to log into the Volume Licensing Partner Center. And if you type in Windows 10, uh, your version number, so like 1809, and then Language Pack, uh, download it, and it will have the CAB files for every single language. Um, for a list of languages and their la uh, region codes, you can come into here. So if you wanted to download Arabic, that is the region code for it. We'll need that a bit later. So let's head over to PowerShell. So if you've got Windows 10 pre version 1809, you'll need to run this command. So if you just want to run it at the desktop, um, go to a user mach machine or any machine, open up PowerShell and just run that command. Uh, put the path of the cab file there. So you might put it into ctemp. So make sure that that path is correct. And all you need to do is just run that command. That is going to install the language pack, but it's not going to set it. I'll show you what you need to do a bit later um, on in the video. Um, if you have an image, so maybe you're building an image to for SCCM or to, to build machines from using um, something like Ghost, you can actually install the language pack into the image. So you just put uh, the path of the image to mount it and then you put the name of the cab file and you put the path obviously so like that uh, so for Windows 1809 and newer the process is the same but the commands are slightly different so you'll just need to run that script point it to the um, correct appx file and same again, if you've got an image, you need to run just that command. Once the language pack is installed, you can run this command here. Again, I'll put this in the description of the video so you can see it. So what this is going to do is it's going to show you what language pack is installed. Um, so if you just look at the SID of the language pack and it will tell you, it will show you there which one's installed. Uh, to see what actual regional settings are applied for you, if you run these commands, you can see here I'm in the United Kingdom and it's got the correct one, ENGB, ENGB. Right, to set the new language pack, so for example here we've installed DE, so we need to do the German So we need to get the German code, so it's here, DEDE, -E. change these to, to the German language code. And we need to do two things. So this is the Windows user interface. So when you boot up Windows and it gets to the Control-Alt-Delete screen, this is going to be what that language pack is. So if we run that, that then is going to... Um, install, uh, not, sorry, not install it, it's going to set the German as the default language pack for the user interface. Uh, we then need to run these commands here. Uh, what this does is it then sets uh, the German language pack as the default for any user that will log on to that machine. Um, yeah, that is obviously needed because otherwise they'll just get the default uh, language pack, which would be English United Kingdom here or typically English United States. 
Okay, I hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by subscribing to my channel. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment below. If you do try these uh, steps, please let me know how you get on. I'll be very interested to hear how you, how you got on, if you managed to successfully set them or not. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.